Hello everybody. So today we are going to look at SMB relay attack. So this is my server consisting on the RP address of this. So this is my host machine. So in order to perform a relay attack, so basically you want to make a vulnerable machine. So you have to go to the local group policy editor and uh, you need to uh, edit the security option and you have to disable the Microsoft client uh, sign-in uh, communication uh, this has to be disabled and another one is uh, so that's the setup so you have to take into consideration and this is another host so basically we are gonna perform uh, uh the uh ntlm has uh, we have captured it so most of the time we might not uh crack the hash right so for that uh, what we can do is instead of cracking it so i if i get uh, manage to get this uh, uh host uh ntlm has and i can relate uh i can get the access to this computer so uh, so that's the basically the relay attack uh, scenario uh, so basically so this is my share file so uh, for this setup what we can do is locate uh, responder dot config file so you have to configure something so you have to edit some so what you want to do is to uh uh okay let me do enter right so so i could just do you i could do uh, that and let's let me show you what you need to do is you need to do http off because ntlm is listening uh, uh to uh in default it's listening to http as well as smb so for this attack to work you need to disable smb as well as uh, the fstp on responder.config file so basically we are just uh, getting the hash from it and uh, uh, in order to relay we have another uh, tool called so let me show you so if i just clear it out and so i have to just click it so but in order to if this machine sleep uh, on its own so so once i have cleared that so we can do uh, sudo then responder so we have so i'm using the interface it holds uh, no no that's my uh, wi-fi and uh, let's make it uh, visual volvo smooth and we can do uh, ntlm relay x dot pi so this is so basically from here we are getting the ntlm has from the lan connection and this ntlm relay dot pi what it does is to relay uh, uh, its uh, connection through smb and we are getting the connection so we have the ip list and and uh, we have to do SMB uh, to support, support dash I. So dash I will get interactive cell. So netcat connection. We are getting the SMB connection through netcat. So that's that. And let me perform it. So if I go up, let's do enter. So it's listening to. to uh, my interface and that's my host ip address and let's do enter over here and let me enter the password 
okay now it's uh loading all the protocols so let's perform the uh so basically uh so here uh what i'm listening is whatever it's going through uh, hstp traffic as well as the uh sm uh, so domain share so if uh here let me just do uh so let me access the uh wrong uh share file uh, test me let's do enter and here we should it's getting so it's getting the connection and let's wait for it now it's getting access so authenticating so it has successfully got access through to my this computer so it has got an access so now uh, this cell has interactive smb line the smb client cell is uh, activated so let's do, copy this let's uh, open the new terminal and let's listen this let's do enter then we can do sx shares so here we can see the share file so basically we are we have the initial foothold uh, to this computer so here is my files so now we are at here this is our location so if we go back and uh, you can see let's it's on c drive so we are at here so i have still nothing so if i do cd test me we are in so if i do okay so i have nothing right so this is how you perform the smb relay attack thank you guys